Welcome to a new video. It's October, that means, you're right, spooky season or Bloodtober if you ever watched film right. Last Sunday our new horror short film came out. At this point it's almost tradition. If you haven't watched it already, be sure to watch it first by clicking up here. Just if you want to, of course, because this video will contain spoilers. Last warning, this is the effect we're going to learn today. Pretty simple, but if you manage to build attention before this moment and pair it with some good sound effects, it's pretty effective. I'm speaking from experience. Not only everyone I showed it was scared at this scene so far, even the actors who played the roles were scared at this moment when we did the premiere. Hell, even I was scared while editing this film alone in my office at night. So let's first talk about what we need to shoot and what we need to pay attention for while shooting for this effect. First thing, where to shoot it. We used this long hallway, but you could of course do it somewhere else. This just had a really scary feeling to it because of the darkness and, you know, I think it was a cool location. Next you have to lock off the camera on a tripod. That's what they are for, right? Of course you could also do it handheld and track it, but that's too much work. We can always animate emotion later. Actually, I did that. Now when it comes to the lighting, in our scene the evil man is backlit, so you just see his silhouette and not his face for some extra creepiness. You can play around a little bit with the pose and the tilting of the head to really tune in the creepy look. Then you need to pay attention to the height of the character in the background. Be sure to make the other actor walk in front of it as a test. The front actor has to cover the entire character in the back when he or she or they walk in front of it. And that's basically it. Then you shoot it, act out your scene, the front actor walks across the hallway without noticing the evil spirit in the back. Of course there is no one there yet, at least there shouldn't be. Then the front actor stays out of frame and the back actor acts out his scene. Again play around with his position, feel free to try several positions and poses to really dial in your look, but be careful that you don't move your tripod while doing that. It's best to just leave the camera rolling for this. Then we hop into Final Cut or Premiere or After Effects, basically any editing software that has a mask should do fine. Place your clip in the timeline and then split it if you rolled the camera the entire time or just import your two clips if you didn't, but you better didn't move the camera. I told you. Then we need the evil guy layer on the bottom and the, in my case, girl layer on the top. And now turn a video on that you would enjoy to watch for the next few minutes because we have to do some masking. And once we are done with the masking, we keyframe the mask over the period where the girl walks in front of the man until she finally reveals him, then you can stop with the mask work. Of course you could also try rotoscoping the new roto brush. It's actually not new at this point. The new, the, the old, the kind of it's there now, Roto Brush 2 is very great, but it was just a few frames, so I just manually masked it out. Lastly, we put an adjustment layer over everything and animate just a subtle zoom in motion. Of course, you can also do a zoom out or a handheld motion, but for my example, this motion worked the best. And that's it, now you do some sound design and we are left with this. That's already it from this video, I really hope you enjoyed it, if you did please be sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing for more amazing videos just like this one. You can watch the final horror film right here, also the thumbnail was in the background the entire time, did you notice? Easter eggs. And down here you can watch the stabbing effect that will come out this Sunday, I will do a tutorial on how we did the stabbing effect. And you can subscribe right here. And I will hopefully see you in the next video. Goodbye and happy Halloween.